I'm Will. And I'm Brooke. And, and we're, we're on the, the Walk for, for Liberty. Liberty. We're walking all the way across the country to New Hampshire. As part of the Free State Project. To live and work with people there in promoting the ideas of personal responsibility, individual freedoms, drinking the size of government, and having fun. Woo! Over 8,000 people have already pledged to move to New Hampshire. And a thousand are scheduled to have moved by the end of this year. So come join us. Sign up at freestateproject.org. And tell them the Walk for Liberty sent you. It's August 23rd, 2008, day 115. Brooke had mentioned to me earlier today that we seem to be going through cash quicker than we had been previously. I think it's because more places in these small towns take cash only. And I've certainly noticed places that seem to encourage the use of cash, such as gas stations which often offer discounts for paying in cash. If these businesses are going to primarily deal in, or at least encourage the use of, cash rather than credit cards, then one thing I think they would benefit even more from is by encouraging the use of the Liberty Dollar. As opposed to U.S. Federal Reserve Notes, aka dollar bills, which are backed by, well, nothing. The Liberty Dollar is a private alternative currency which is actually backed by real precious metals such as silver or gold, which are either stored in warehouses to back up the paper notes or are what the pieces themselves are made out of. For example, the base Liberty Dollar piece is a real one ounce piece of silver which has been minted and has a $50 value. You can use it any way you could a regular US Federal Reserve $50 note. I believe these small rural towns and communities would be ideal places for the Liberty Dollar to be used. For one, since the Liberty Dollar is not that commonly known and used yet, then in practical terms, it would have the effect of keeping almost all of that money within the community. Which is the reason why other local alternative currencies, such as the Ithaca Hour, were started. Also, the Liberty Dollar would be much easier to implement in a small community than in a larger city. If somebody tries to spend the Liberty Dollar at a retail store in a larger city, the clerk most likely has never seen the Liberty Dollar before and possibly would be suspicious about accepting it. In a small community though, where usually everybody knows each other, the shopkeeper will most likely have known the person for years and would be much more likely to listen to an explanation of what the Liberty Dollar is. Unlike the Ithaca Hour and those other local currencies though, the Liberty Dollar actually has real intrinsic value and can, if necessary, be used or converted outside the local community. A local influential businessman could introduce the Liberty Dollar in a town meeting and could probably convince most of the other business owners in town to start accepting the Liberty Dollar by explaining the advantages. Another of which is that because of inflation, the Liberty Dollar actually rises in value compared to regular dollars. Because of the rise in the price of silver, the one ounce silver Liberty Dollar piece recently increased in value from $20 to $50. And if you previously owned any $20 Silver Liberty Dollar pieces or notes, you can have them upgraded to $50 pieces or notes for a nominal reminting fee. Try that with Federal Reserve notes. Now granted, one disadvantage of the Liberty Dollar, at least currently, is that they can't be deposited into banks. But local businesses in that community we talked about earlier could get around that problem by limiting their intake of Liberty Dollars each month to just the amount that they would ordinarily be spending on other local businesses anyway. For example, if a business brings in 30000 each month, 
10,000 of which it spends on other local businesses which accept Liberty dollars, and 20,000 of which it spends on outside businesses or puts in the bank, then it could safely accept $10,000 worth of Liberty dollars from its customers each month. Their employees, in similar fashion, could also decide what percentage of their salary they'd like to receive each month in Liberty dollars. Using Liberty dollars could be a boon for the whole community. Anyone who participates in using them will see their money rise in value over time compared to the dollar as opposed to losing value each year because of inflation. I walked 1996 miles today. Here's my GPS position. This is Will Buchanan for blog.walkforliberty.com signing off. I sailed that pirate ship, that pirate ship, that pirate ship.